I'm Christy. I'm Brooke. And we're here with the Downtown Farmer's Market Kids Corner again. We get a lot of bugs that are out there, so it's always fun to kind of make different bugs. And it kind of reminds me of the um, Hungry Caterpillar, if you've ever read that book. This is our little bug, and you can make it like a puppet. If you take just an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, like this, and I've kind of pressed it. I gave it about a half inch at the bottom, maybe a quarter inch at the bottom. And an easy way to do this is just put it on the edge of your table like that. And then maybe a half inch at the top. Then I've taken and I've drawn lines. So you might need some help cutting the lines. Um, you can ask a parent or a teacher or someone to help you. And you just cut straight along those lines. Okay, so now you have this little fringy piece like this. We're gonna wrap this piece around and we're gonna glue it onto Imagine the other piece. Of a tropical skirt. It does. While Brooke's gluing the rest of the uh, pieces down, I'm gonna make a face for her. So all I've done is drawn a round face with a little neck on there. Fold each one a little bit, because that'll help it to move a little bit better. Then we're gonna take the head, and again, using a little bit of glue, we're gonna stick it inside. What are we gonna make antennas with, bro? A straw. A straw, so we have a red straw here. You can use anything, you can use Q-tips or... Um, wire. Wire. Or... We've used these before, uh, skewers, for meat skewers. So we're gonna use those as our little puppeteer thing. So we just take a little bit of glue on these and stick them down. On each end of the caterpillar's body. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape just so that it'll dry a little bit better. And you can make a bunch of them and make a little play if you like too, so that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. So there we go. There is our little caterpillar. For a little bit more advanced uh, bug, we're gonna do a, um, a glow bug or lightning bug. And we're making this out of a pot bottle. So we're gonna take the bottle, and you might need some help with this. I put a cut, I used a knife and I put a cut in here where I could take it out. Now you can do it two ways. You can even either make it the whole way like this and just cut the bottom off to put your um, glow in, or you can make it smaller like I did. I made it a little bit smaller there. You can get the um, candles at uh, that are battery operated and they have little flames in them and you can stick that in or we did it with a glow stick and with the glow stick we, you take off the cap and you use a hot glue gun to put your glow stick in here and you put it in together like this so we're gonna make a face on it and to make our antennas um, we're gonna use a little bit of wire you can use a pipe cleaner um, that kind of makes a cool one too so that you can do this and Brooke is just gonna wrap it around so that the bottom of the bottle will be the face. If you use pipe cleaners, you can twirl them and make them just, they don't even need that little piece on the end like that. We're gonna use googly eyes for our eyes. We're gonna make a mouth out of red ribbon. You can use pipe cleaner. You can use construction paper. We're kind of using what we have at home, right? Yep. We're gonna put a piece of this bright yellow tape that's really pretty and uh, this will hold the antenna in place as well as keep the bottle from coming apart. We have glow bugs, fireflies out where I live and we've watched them in the bushes and it's really cool. To uh, glue these in, use some hot glue. So get some help from your parents with that too and it glows and when you put it in, it'll glow. <laughs> there we go. So have some fun with that. If you're camping, this is a cool little craft to do too because you always take pop with you when you're, and you can find things in nature to do with it. Well, have a great uh, summer and uh, get some of these crafts done and we'll see you at our next session. Take care, bye. Bye.